Hi, I'm Luis, a product engineer at Intercom. Recently, my colleague David shared how Intercom is embracing the model context protocol for MCP server for sure, making it easier for business to connect the Intercom conversation data with external AI systems. Today, I'm going to show you the other side, how we're experimenting making Finn, our AI agent, an MCP client. In this way, Finn can take action in the data from the tools that you already use. Let's take a look. I am in the data connectors page. Here, you are going to have the possibility to either integrate with your own custom MCP server, or you can use one that we are going to directly support in Intercom. In this case, I am interested in connected with the Stripe MCP server. To do that, I record to enter my Stripe API key. And once I have done that, now I can start with the configuration of some tools that are available in the MCP server. Here, I can see what is available there, and I am interested in the list products tool, in the list prices tool, and in the create payment link tool. Before setting those, those tools live, I need to tell Finn when they need to be triggered. So in this case, it's when the user is asking about the products, and I want it available for my users, and it's time to set it live. Let's do the same thing for the prices. When the user is asking about the prices, I make it available for leads and users. Time to set it live. For create payment link, is, the problem is going to be a bit different. In, in Stripe, in order to create a payment link, you are going to require like some extra arguments. They require a price ID and a quantity. For those mandatory arguments, you're going to have the possibility to either let Finn collect information, set a custom value, or use an attribute. In this case, I am going to let Finn collect this information, and I'm also telling Finn where this information can be available in case that the user doesn't have it. Okay. Time to see that. That's it for the setup. Time to see this in action. Here in the left side, I have the Intercom Messenger application available for the end users. And in the right side, I have the inbox just to see what's happening before behind the scenes available for the customer support agents. Let's start with the conversation. Hey, I saw that you released a new AI feature called Chat with Your Data. What plan is that on and how much does it cost? Finn has identified the language of the, the, of the conversation. It has set a personality team, previously set, and it has identified that it has access to, to some tools we also previously set. It, there was like a match with the list product tool and the list process tool. It has made the request towards the Stripe and CP server. Both requests were successful, and now Stripe should reply with the information that got from the Stripe and CP server. Yes. I would like to buy one. Okay. There was a request toward the list prices tool in order to get the price ID. Now there was a request toward the create pay payments link using the, the price ID that we got. Both requests were successful towards the Stripe and CP server. And now Finn has replied with a Stripe payment link. And now we can continue with the payment. As you can see, with Finn as a MCP client and with the intercom and CP server, we're embracing MCP across both sides of the question. Together, these updates make it easier for businesses to integrate Finn with the tools that they already use and look more value in every conversation happening at their intercom workspace. What I just show is just an early version of Finn as an MCP client. We're working to release more features and support more servers in the coming months. So keep watching this space. Thanks for watching today.